You've got a fast connection, good ping to the server, and yet your game feels sluggish. Shots don't register instantly, movement feels delayed, or your character rubber bands across the map. Most people blame their ISP, but the real cause could be inside Windows NIC driver settings, specifically something called NDIS Packet Coalescing. By default, Windows and NIC drivers try to save CPU cycles by bundling multiple packets together before sending them to the OS kernel. That's great for bulk downloads, but for real-time gaming packets, UDP, TCP, small ACKs, it introduces hidden latency and jitter. Today, I'll show you five advanced but safe tweaks registry edits, NIC driver settings, and power configs that stop packet coalescing and give you snappier, more consistent network performance in online games. Before step one, safety, do this first. Create a restore point, system properties protection, in case you want to roll back. Update your network drivers, Intel, Realtek, Killer, Broadcom, from the manufacturer's site. Windows Update often leaves you with outdated ones. Know that these tweaks don't increase raw bandwidth. They reduce latency and jitter. Step 1. Disable NDIS Packet Coalescing in Registry. NDIS, Network Driver Interface Specification, is a system that allows network interface card drivers to group multiple small packets together into a single interrupt. While this can improve overall system efficiency in many scenarios, it often results in a delay that can negatively impact the responsiveness of real-time applications like gaming or VOIP. Registry Path To modify this setting, you'll need to open the Registry Editor and navigate to This GUID corresponds specifically to the network adapters installed on your system. Once you're inside, you'll find a series of folders labeled 0000, 0001, and so on. These folders represent the individual network interfaces, NICs, on your machine. Identifying your active NIC. Look inside each folder to find the NIC that's actively in use. To identify the correct one, you can check the value of the driver desk key. This will usually show the name of the NIC, such as Intel Ethernet Controller or Realtek Gaming GBE Family Controller. Once you locate the correct folder, you can proceed to adjust the settings for that NIC. Modify the registry. Next, create or edit a D-word, 32-bit entry, within the folder of your active NIC and name it Packet Coalescing. Set the value of this D word to zero to disable packet coalescing. This ensures that the NIC no longer batches small packets together and instead processes each packet individually. Restart your PC. Once you've made this change, restart your computer to apply the settings. Step 2. Disable interrupt moderation. Interrupt moderation is a feature that controls how often your network card interrupts the CPU to process packets. Like packet coalescing, it groups multiple packets together before sending an interrupt. While this reduces CPU load, it also adds latency, something you don't want in latency-sensitive tasks like gaming, streaming, or VOIP. Device Manager Method to turn this off, follow these steps. Open Device Manager, press Win plus X, then select Device Manager from the menu. Expand the Network Adapter section. Right-click your active network adapter, then select Properties. In the Advanced tab, scroll through the list of properties on the left. Find Interrupt Moderation and set it to Disabled. If there's an option for interrupt moderation rate, disable that as well or set it to the lowest possible value like off or lowest if full disable isn't available. This change tells your NIC to interrupt the CPU immediately whenever a packet arrives rather than waiting to group multiple packets together. Keep in mind, 
This might slightly increase CPU usage on older or low power systems, but on modern hardware, the difference is minimal and the lower latency is generally worth it. Step three, tune, receive, and transmit buffers. Network interface cards, or NICs, use ring buffers to temporarily hold packets before they're processed. These buffers help smooth out traffic spikes, but they can introduce delay. If the buffers are too large, packets sit in a queue too long, causing higher latency. If too small, there's a risk of dropping packets during high traffic. For real-time tasks like gaming or voice chat, you want a balanced setup, small enough to minimize latency, but not so small that it causes instability. Device Manager Method Open Device Manager, Win plus X, to Device Manager, Expand Network Adapters, Right-click your NIC and select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab, look for two settings, Receive Buffers and Transmit Buffers. The default values here are usually pretty high, something like 512 for Receive and 1024 for Transmit. These defaults favor throughput over latency. Try lowering them to the following. Receive Buffers, 128. Transmit Buffers, 256. These values reduce queuing delay while still keeping enough buffer space to prevent packet drops in most conditions. After applying the changes, hit OK and restart your PC or disable or enable the NIC to reload the new settings. If you're seeing issues like stuttering or dropped connections, feel free to experiment with slightly higher or lower values to find the sweet spot for your system and network environment. Step four, disable energy efficient ethernet and green ethernet. Power saving features in network cards like energy efficient ethernet, EEE, green ethernet, or general power saving modes can reduce power usage by slowing down the NIC during periods of low activity. The downside? They often delay packet handling or re-enable coalescing when idle, which can introduce spikes in latency. For consistent performance, especially during gaming or streaming, it's best to disable these features. Device Manager Method Open Device Manager, Win plus X, then Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click your NIC and choose Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. Look for the following options. They may be worded slightly differently depending on your NIC driver. Energy Efficient Ethernet, EEE. Green Ethernet. Power Saving Mode. Set each of these to Disabled. Some drivers may only show one or two of these options or use alternative labels like Smart Power Down or Reduce Link Speed During Idle. If it sounds like a power saving feature, disable it. Step 5. Optimize TCP UDP stack with Registry. Now that we've fixed the NIC side, let's optimize Windows network stack for low latency delivery. Registry path. Add or edit the following D word, 32 bit, values. TCP ACK frequency equals 1. Forces immediate TCP ACKs instead of delaying them. TCP no delay equals 1. Disables Nagel's algorithm, prevents packet bundling. TCP DAC ticks equals 0. Removes delayed acknowledgement timers. UDP no delay equals 1. Create new if missing. Forces immediate UDP packet processing. These ensure that both TCP and UDP packets are sent and acknowledged instantly instead of being coalesced or delayed. Restart PC to apply. And that's it. You've just disabled one of Windows' most hidden latency killers, NDIS packet coalescing and related NIC buffering. By editing the registry, disabling interrupt moderation, tuning buffer sizes, shutting off green ethernet, and tweaking TCP UDP stack behavior, you've cut out layers of hidden delays. Your online games should now feel snappier with cleaner hit registration, fewer rubber bands, and more consistent ping. Not just numbers on a screen, but actual responsiveness you can feel. 
If this helped you, drop a like, share your results in the comments, and subscribe for more deep Windows latency fixes. Because sometimes, the biggest wins come from tiny hidden features that nobody talks about.